actually our next guest is a legend of Australian football, yes, yes. former soccer captain, the second most capped player of all time. Mm -hmm. He's also one of the few people who can start a story with when I played on Maradona. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. Please welcome Paul Way. Paul Way! And you are in an official Kinru soccer jersey. Is this, this, this is one of yours? is what we used to wear all over the world. And the reason, you know, at the end of a game when you swap, yep. <laughs> nobody had swapped with me. <laughs> That's why I've got it. Oh, maybe, maybe the other players had all the Kendone pitches they wanted to go. <laughs> so, you know, they can understand that. It's a that. shocker, isn't yeah. it? Uh, Wadey, have you been watching... Uh, uh, you What's been it? No. Yes, yes, I have. Yeah. Like, no sleep at all and thoroughly yeah. enjoying okay. it. Except now, when the Greeks play. Oh, oh, right, right. you don't, don't enjoy board, that. Fair yes. enough. <laughs> now, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not, not allowed to talk about the Germany yes. game, okay? So we won't go that yeah, way. No, okay. Not. Did the boys equip themselves? Did, did you think they achieved or did they come on? Well, let's, for the whole tournament? For the whole tournament. Oh, look, if, if you were going to say they overachieved at 10, I'm thinking four. Oh, and everyone really? says, yeah. you know, everybody's blame, been blaming Pim Verbeek. Mm. That's not his fault, mate. There are 11 blokes out there mm. earning $100,000 a week. Mate, if you can't sort it out, what do you doing out there? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I've never blamed a coach, and I suppose you've not. No, no. I, I've, I've never been coached before <laughs> in my life. Right? As you can tell. Uh, but yeah. I was going to say that watching Ghana just uh, stroll through to the quarterfinals. Yeah, it just mm. hurts it's even more, take, isn't it? Yeah, you're dead right. No, same points as mm -hmm. you know four years ago. Um, what happened against Germany? You know what? What didn't help those couple of tackles that we laid on the uh, Kiwis. I oh, think they oh, went right. all over the world, so we already had a reputation oh, of being angry, really angry. Yeah. yeah, when and, and do, from do, then on, it was a night. We at one stage we played more with ten men than we did in, with eleven. Yeah. Right. At some period. Now, speaking of that, th that match against the Kiwis, ball. I, I wonder whether we were better off losing that game, possibly lo even losing the Denmark game. You know, just a bit of a wake-up call or something. Uh, yeah, look, we were running out of players anyway, and the ones right. we had out there were too old. And, and God bless them, they did their very, very best. But at that level, you're going to pay the price, and we did against Germany. But do we have the guys coming through? Like, are you seeing the, the younger players? Do we have a, a, another, another crop coming through? Well, I heard uh, one former coach say that we are not even going to qualify for the next World Cup. There's, there's that little depth. And I'm thinking, that's a bit unfair. You yeah. can grow up... From 16, 20 years of age, you could be playing in the World Cup. That's unfair to, it's to say that. You, it's That's, a dream you want to put in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. Pim didn't say that to our boys at about halfway through the Germany <laughs> game. I'm just, uh, it wasn't Pim, was it? No, it wasn't I just want to make sure. Just, I want to talk about the refereeing a little bit. Yeah. In, uh, there's a theory going around that us, you know, a minnow nation, the smaller nations, do we get harsher treatment from the refs? Do you think that's a real thing or it's just like something that we complain about? I guess when you look at that German penalty, the, yeah, the, yeah. you know, exactly, exactly the same. It was on the line, it was there, it was play on. We mm. get Harry kill. I would have sent Harry off as well. I would have sent Tim off. Am I being a miserable so-and-so? You would so have sent so? Tim off. Wow. Yeah, I would have sent Jeez, Tim off. Attack. The tackle was from behind. You didn't get him with studs or anything like that, yeah. but it was from behind. <laughs> and a decision's got to be made like that. We had five okay. looks at it. Well, let, yeah, Paul, let, well let's, let's talk about decision-making and stuff like that. Do you, um, it feels like eventually, inevitably, we'll get technology that will start coming into the yeah. thing. I know Sepp Blatter said, not while I'm around. Yeah. But, I mean, do you, do you see that that will happen? I mean, will, will coaches be able to challenge? Will there be that? Because the game is stop-start. It's, yeah. not, it's not like, you know, it's not like AFL or anything like that. What, what do you reckon? we got two choices here. We can be greedy and go for the, like, everyone says there's so much at stake now, all the money. Well, why don't we bring a little bit of innocence back to the game rather than saying, well, let's bring the technology in mm. so we can divvy up all the uh, the profits. I'm thinking, let's leave it to the human element thing. Mm. If a referee makes a mistake, well, unlucky. A player's are giving it away all the time. So maybe there's a, there's a call for a camera on the line. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, but is. leave the rest oh, alone. Okay, speaking, <laughs> speaking of nuts, you've, you've, you've spent time with him. Is Diego Maradona, is he altogether there? 
Oh, dead right he is. <laughs> a lot no, no, of him. No, no, no. But is, is he his own man? What, he, he, has... He, he has done some extraordinary things. You know, he can leave two players who played in the Champions League out of it all together. Yeah. Pick a guy who's just playing, who's never played before for Argentina and look at him now. I'm thinking that they, they're my favourites. Brazil, Argentina, mm. I think they're going to win it based on what they've got up front. They might concede eight. But they're going to score nine. <laughs> they, they, you know what? They look like they're having fun there. You know, yeah. they're at a World Cup. We're actually enjoying ourselves, as opposed to England. You know, as, well, as opposed England. to England. Well, yeah. Italy. Italy didn't look like they were no, enjoying no. themselves at all. Anyway, <laughs> Wadey, we do have to go. Apparently, Ronaldo is standing by to write the future. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming in, mate. Would you please thank Paul Wade?